And welcome back, folks, to yet another episode of Axe and Allies. In the last episode, uh, we did relatively little, in all fairness. Like, hardly any territorial changes, and by hardly any, I mean, besides the East Indies, uh, nothing's really happened except for, you know, Algeria. But in this episode, um, might actually end up finishing the game, because uh, these matches are generally pretty damn short. I'm going to go ahead and throw everything into infantry again, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, completely and totally destroy their forces in Eastern Europe. Because I have the ability to do so. I mean, hell, I could technically divert um, and take some territory from Finland, Norway, however, I don't specifically need to at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and send two in here, and my tank, just to make sure they might try to come up and fight me. Which, I guess, would be okay. I don't know yet. We'll just see. You just come at here. I end up missing, hitting. They're gonna miss, which is good. And here, I'm pretty much gonna just completely wipe them out. Kind of. Or, you know, they did more damage to me, but whatever. I got the men. I got the scratch. I d d Dude! Come on! You got so many people here, and you're like, nope, we can't shoot nobody. And it's like, dude, you really should. There you go. Nope, still haven't gotten rid of them. And here I thought I might have had enough men to actually go and do something. I lost a shitload of men, and... They could counterattack me. They could probably very easily counterattack me. Oh yeah, done. We'll just see how well this is going to play out. You want to go after me? Yes, you are. And you're pretty much going to... You dealt so much goddamn damage to me. Hit them. Really? Come on. Come on. I should have been able to win this. I call hacks. They're going to have, like, no units, though, which, you know what? I'm okay with. And you have relatively few units. I would have preferred... Well, I mean, I can send my tanks back up, because uh, tanks, they have two movements, so they can go through a territory, and I could attack that way. Um, that wouldn't be a horrible idea. I'm going to skip on weapons development. I'm going to go ahead and buy... Go ahead and buy three tanks in, uh, in India here. And uh, I will go ahead and actually um, start getting some transports in the water here. Are they going to be really that useful, though? I don't know. I'm gonna go and move my battleships up and my sub up into here. I'm gonna bomb you again and probably get shot down. You know, again. Uh, you go take that over. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, invade here and hopefully this will work. It might, it might not. I'm not sure. You head this way. And yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna really only end up doing. Can't really do much else. Take in Anglo Egyptian Sudan, which is like the closest thing to the actual border, just kind of saying, you know, just a little bit, sort of. Go do another strategic bombing, got rid of two. And then this one, which I should be able to end up winning. Um, bombers, they have horrible defense, which I kind of find a bit odd, I guess you could say. Because, you know, bombers are generally pretty okay at baiting her with a bomber, which, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, probably because he's going to try to retreat if he can, but nope, he can't. Yeah, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense why a bomber wouldn't be able to be good at defense. Maybe it's because, like, you know, it's going to the concept of, yeah, you know, you're, like, invading, like, super quick. We don't have time or warning or anything. I, I don't specifically know. Go ahead and throw three tanks into here, and two transports here. And what are you going to do, Japan? Probably attack my units here, and... Oh, you're going to retake Indochina. Okay. Okay, so you're going to get rid of my infantry, yet you lost a plane. You're still not going to take the territory, but... Okay. They... Okay, no, they didn't slap a, a um, industry down, right? Now, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, it, because you have three IPCs here, it's actually really good as, as the Japanese player to do that. Um, here, what I need, I actually need subs. Uh, do I need four subs? Yeah, probably. I need, I need subs. Three subs and transport. I'll do that. 
load you guys in here, move you. I'll move you to Wake, I guess. I, even though Wake isn't like worth any money, it's good to take anyway. You know, just so I can have a place to, so that my units can end up landing. And I can move you on to Wake, move you on to Wake as well, and move all of you. And yeah, you can go ahead and move too. Gonna ahead land all of you. Thankfully, I don't have to click every single one if I want to unload. It'll just unload onto a stack. And uh, they don't have much in the way of like a navy really at all. If they build a crap load of transports. They just build so many that, you know, if you go on long enough, they'll build like 20, 30. And it's like, Jesus Christ, why'd you do that? That was kind of stupid, but whatever. Yeah, and uh, sometimes if you have a battleship in the water, you can bombard. It does depend, though. Um, sometimes it won't let you do it. Sometimes it will. If uh, there was a naval combat, it won't let you do it at all. Battleship ended up hitting, and a battleship should prevent it from actually um, doing any damage, but like from enemy being able to attack back, but that is so... It, it doesn't like to do it for some reason. I also need to move you back to the Hawaiian Islands. One carrier is good for two uh, fighters, or one bomber, by the way. Place all of you here. I'm done. I've gained ground, kind of. And so, well, so is the USSR. And the US, they actually stayed completely totally neutral. Huh. Odd. Me again, and uh, I'm gonna actually probably want my tanks. Mm. I'll buy five infantry and three tanks. That should be good enough, and I'm going to go ahead and attack Finland and Norway for right now. Now, uh, I pretty much am leaving. Uh, if I wasn't putting someone in Karelia, then they could, you know, send a tank to go ahead and take it. However, since I'll be placing units in there, it shouldn't be a problem. And the most they can take is Eastern Europe and the Ukraine, so... Nothing horrible. And they've, wow, they've really beefed up the forces in here. I'm going to go ahead and move you back. Normally, you want to take Manchuria early, but I waited a little bit too long. Got three on you, only got one here. <laughs> only got one out of everyone. Uh, don't make this a repeat of the Winter War. I don't want to do that, really. It is the, a repeat of the Winter War. God damn it, no! Those goddamn Finns are so good! <laughs> If anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, read about the Winter War. Or, um, go watch the, um... No, oh God, was it? The BBC, MB... Yeah, BBC, um... Series of Battlefield. Really good, uh, documentary series. It was fantastic. They're sending all their planes out here. I can retreat with everyone, which wouldn't be that bad. Go ahead and retreat here. Oh, you, um, yeah, there, by the way, there goes my navy. Great, that's just what I need. See, that's why, that's why you always do that, because, yeah, I forgot about that. I was like, huh, my sub can retreat, but nope, no, they cannot. How many transfers can I buy? Four? Eh, not really worth it. I have enough muscle, no, I, actually, no, I don't. I don't have enough muscle down there. And I'm just going to go ahead and buy that for the moment, I guess. And for combat, I'm just going to go ahead and move... No, not here. I'm going to move um, all these people forward. And guess what? I'm going to bomb you again, because, you know, I can. <laughs> and uh, one thing that I could end up doing if I really wanted... I could send uh, my planes after, like, some straggling units if I really want to. Yeah, screw it. Oh, uh, nope, never mind. I can't do that. I would not send against uh, any eight units, because that'd be a stupid idea. Take Libyan combat. So much easier than the actual invasion of Libya, by the way. <laughs> Destroy another four, and I'll go ahead and put you down here. I could move these guys. Move them to Algeria if I wanted, or hell, even Gibraltar, but nah. Should be fine. Place you three here in India. Japan, where are you going to do attack? So be far east and take over China. And you're gonna, oh, you're gonna bomb my um, IPCs. Okay, the AI tends to not do that. Sometimes it does though. Here again, I'm probably gonna need some more, um, <laughs> fuck at this point, I'm gonna need more subs. Wait, where, where'd they all go? Oh, they all spread out. All right, that works. 
I guess. Sort of. I guess I'll go ahead and build. I need another transport. Two more infantry. Transport. Infantry. Transport. If I could buy a tank. Normally I don't like to buy tanks. Um, like for transport reasons. But it should be fine. I'm going to move you out. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and send this bomber against that guy. Just because I can. And I'll uh, send a fighter against you. And a fighter against you. Because I do not want to leave any uh, units exposed like that, because I can leave them in these waters without any protection because they can't get to me, and uh, they can't get... Excuse me. They can't get any planes to me either, so I'm fine on that front. And yeah, that's all I can do. Oh yeah, combat in here. As you build a one, that's no problem. Don't you fucking dare hit me. God damn it, you hit me. That was not a good trade. I need another fighter now. No! Come on. Come on. Really? Come on. You have a 50... F Fuck you, transports. Lost both my fighters. That is not good. Come on, bomber. Jesus Christ. I was like, yeah, you better not fucking hit me. Or I was going to be mad. Great. Yeah, I'll throw you back down to wake. That was, that was stupid that, you know, that happened. What can you do besides, you know, go back in time? Because there is a time machine here. Um, there is a time machine in-game that you can use. Uh, yeah, no, skip this. I am infantry in that, and I can move everyone back over here. Um, I do need to send some units over here, though. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move all my tanks down over into here, and hopefully that will be enough. Hopefully. Still have a whole bunch of units in there, and hell, I could probably take that, but I don't want to take the chance. Um, no, not three. Two, and a tank. Gage here. I overkilled that guy. He killed one unit. Go ahead and get rid of you really quick. Thankfully, I ended up hitting. Of course, he hit me back. The AI in this game can be super annoying a lot of the time. Now I count back, go ahead and move you back. I don't think they'd be, be wanting to attack me like that. I don't think. They probably will just, you know, spite me. I'll go, eh, whatever. Hey, I destroyed your bomber. No, oh, and you sent a plane against my uh, sub here. Thanks, dickwad. You don't have much in the way of planes anymore, though. Hey, guess what? Neither do the Americans. They all got fucking destroyed. My transports. Why can't my transports ever be that lucky? It's like they had... I'm not going to say that. Nope. But yeah, I'll throw seven transports. I don't fucking need seven transports, though. Uh, I'll throw four transports in the water. That... I'll Yeah, I'll do this. So why the hell not? You know, I probably should have actually thought about maybe getting enough units to... Oh, I don't know, maybe actually attack Indy here, but nah, that'd be too smart. Way too smart. I'll bomb you again, because why the hell not? I can move you here. You go into this water. Editorial Africa is under my control. Don't be shot down. Thank you. Throw all my transports into here. Nope, I, yeah, go ahead and put them into a goddamn water. Why the hell not? Yeah, go ahead and throw them. No, I can't throw them in here. There you go. Good. Oh, you're... <laughs> Why? Why are you doing that? Oh, yeah, because my guy's gonna fucking miss. Thanks. I was gonna use that plane, dude. I was gonna use that plane. Yeah, screw it. I'll, I'll skip on buying stuff this turn, too. And... Yeah, throw that in here, too. Go ahead and take yet another location. Throw this tank down here. Move all of you. Hell, I could go to the Philippines if I really want to. I could also pretty much um, deal with their navy if too if I wanted, which wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I don't have enough use to um, do that, though. So... Yeah, I'll send one here. 
and the rest can go here. Sometimes the game doesn't like to um, send, uh, like differentiate. It really does kind of depend. I don't like having those transports in the water though. Well, they can reach anywhere, so yeah, whatever. They'll just end up dying. They'll be fine. I'll just need to get another transport. And at that point, um, hell, I might even take the Philippines just to get a better, um, you know, fucking send this bomber to its doom. But uh, I might put a factory in, um, in the Philippines for that. Yeah, sure, go ahead and bombard. Take that in combat. You, you're toast. There you go. You're toast. You can go ahead and do a strategic bomb. Don't shoot me down. Thank you. I would have been mad if you did. Um, go back to wake. And you, I haven't moved you. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move you over here in the wake and unload you like you always should with uh, unprotected transports or hell, even transports in general. We're on the move. Yep, everyone's in the negative while Germany's stagnant and the Soviets are in the positive. And here, what else can I do with you? Um, they don't actually have that many troops left anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep throwing more into here. Hey, guess what, pal? We're bad. No, 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 probably a bad idea. So we'd be attacking here. I'll just send some men down over into here. I also might uh, end up cutting some of this out. You know, if only the Soviets were able to do this in the first place, you know, just spawn men out of nowhere, even though they kind of, sort of, you know, already did. Just, you know, kind of. Just saying. That's pretty much what they did. They're like, here, have so many more men. I mean, God, the Soviets, they had, I don't even know, I want to say four million combat troops at least. And whenever you look at, like, regular um, records, what you'll generally end up seeing is something like, um... Oh, what's a good way to put it? You would have essentially, like, non-combat um, people listed, like, you know, staff and um, other various forms of officers. Um, they, those would generally be implemented and, you know, count as regular military staff. So that's why you have, you know, massive inflated numbers like you have in, um, in, like, the Soviet and German armies. Because even, like, during the very late, um, ages of the war, you would have, yep, they're going after my transports. And I can't escape. And you're gonna run my other transports with your planes. Thanks, dickwad. I want to buy more transports. You're gonna lose your plane in the process. You're gonna lose both of your planes in the process. I am A-okay with that. But uh, even at the tail ends of the war, you would have, you know, uh, counters being of like, um, um, I want to say something like 2 to 4 million German troops and upwards of 10 million Soviet troops, which those numbers are just, they're not accurate at all. So, yeah, just a little bit of knowledge right there for, you know, all like one person is going to watch this. <laughs> Go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and move you here, and I could send my people into a transport and put them somewhere. I could fucking I could take Quang Tong if I wanted to. I don't know why it's referred to as Quang. Well, no, that I guess that kind of makes sense. It's I think I won't, I don't know if the Quang Tong army had control of all possessions in China. It might have. I don't know if it was like the regular uh, Japanese army or if it was you know anything. Uh, sorry, or if it was um, the Quintal Army overall, you know the quote-unquote elite cream of the um, of the Japanese army, which you know got decimated by the uh, Russians when they invaded Manchuria. Same with uh, whatever remnants existed of Manchukuo. Yeah, they um, they had a navy, they had a navy, they had an army. They. You know, it wasn't that good, but that shouldn't um, be that shouldn't be much of a surprise, considering the fact that uh, native troops tend to not be that great, um, especially because they weren't generally equipped very well. And I mean, if you want an army that had a lot of men, um, yeah, the Japanese they had a lot of men. 
And even at the tail, even at the like the tail ends of the war, they had uh, two million men in the home islands, and I want to say about another million or so just outwardly in all the other territories, maybe more. And um, you know, of their remaining puppets, which was pretty much only um, Manchukuo at that point, and they might have had um, some like puppet governments still in existence. I don't remember though. They had um, I mean, Manchukuo itself ended up having 550,000 to a thou to a million men under arms, but they were so pitifully equipped and trained that it was damn near worthless, honestly. Yeah, that's uh, enough jargon that I'm probably being completely and totally incorrect. Let's just go ahead and uh, pretty much finish this off, because after this, the Germans aren't going to have much left. They, well, I mean, they still have a fair amount of units left, but still. I'm going to be able to pretty much steamroll them. All I want. Go ahead and fight in here. Come on. There you go. I don't care if they're, you know, like, murdering us more than we're murdering them. We're still eventually going to wear down on them. You know, <coughs> what are you going to do? Are you going to try to have some stupid resistance movement carry you on? Yeah, not going to happen. There was a whole thing, um, there was a whole thing, it was called Werewolf, that was supposedly, like, um, a Nazi, um, Resistance movement that was going to take place in like the Alps or something, but that was pretty much purely propaganda from what I've actually ended up read, where they had hardly any supplies, they really weren't, um, they really weren't a force, they weren't even really considered, because, you know, talking about, um, possible German defeat was essentially heresy to them. So... Yeah, uh, there was that. Um, there, I don't even believe there was really anything in the way of like actual um, like resistance. Really, there were a few limited accounts, but the Japanese had a lot more than that. I mean, hell, they had people going up until the 60s, 70s that fought on because um, they refused to end up surrendering. But the German, uh, sorry, the Nazis, not so much. I want to say the last, like, I guess you could say, reported quote-unquote killings, or whatever you want to refer to it as. I mean, that ended in early 46, if, maybe earlier. Uh, yeah, by the end of the war, they were not that popular, to say the least. I'm gonna throw more men into here. Dad, why are you getting rid of all my planes? Why? Why are you so hell-bent on killing my planes? It is stupid for you to do that. You can't take the territory. Hell, you could have taken the territory, but you're like, no. I want to be stupid. I'm like, oh, okay, bro, go ahead and be stupid. Wait, I need... Okay, I need one... Two... Alright, so... You want here... One here... One here, and one here. I can actually... No, I can't build enough. So, uh, what I'm probably going to go ahead and actually end up doing is I'm going to cut here, and I will uh, come back whenever I, I'm going to take, essentially, Germany proper, when I'm going to take the capital. So, I will be right back. Alright, everyone, and welcome back. Now, uh, that's pretty much, I'm uh, pretty much just going to be able to take Germany without uh, much of an issue whatsoever. I have a pretty heavy superiority. I was able to even get the British to land here in Western Europe with some strength, which they surprisingly haven't gone after yet. And uh, the only place, uh, mainland place, that uh, the Japanese have left is Manchuria. So we'll go ahead and finish this off really quick. Because uh, once you take their capital, I mean, they can take it back. However, I'm hoping that I will have enough units here that um, their 20 stack will not be able to take it back. Hopefully that will be the case. We'll just have to see, though. AA guns ended up missing. Didn't do a great job. They didn't hit me back too hard. 
I'm gonna keep on attacking. Yep, I've got this. And they're not gonna be able to take him back. And of course, the they tend like to hit when there's like no point to it. But yeah, I've pretty much uh, completely dominated that. And whenever you capture their capital, you get all their IPCs. Now I'll come in. I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, move all my uh, planes back this way. And I well, actually you know the British will probably take Manchuria. But, um, yeah, that was uh, pretty much it for that, so I'm going to go ahead and actually probably cut back again, because they can no longer gain money. I'm going to go ahead and actually cut again until I'm ready to take the Japanese home island, which will take, you know, fucking forever. But I will be right back. Never mind on that front, Japan has finally con managed to conquer Australia. My war effort is doomed. Uh, yeah, never mind. All right, now we are back and hopefully, hopefully I will have enough use to make this happen. Maybe, I don't know. I just really hope so. Because this is generally what um, really drags the game out a long time, as you know, this happening. And it always happens. I don't have perfect superiority, I have two tanks, and yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this or not. And it's going to suck if I can't, because it's going to take me forever to rebuild everything. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and see. Yep, go ahead and bombard. Everyone on ground support. Ah, uh, man, I lost the fighter. That's not good. Battleship missed. Didn't hit that many. They hit a lot more uh, in return. Still didn't hit that many. I might actually lose this. Eh, nope. I think this is a loss. Come on. This is pretty much what uh, the actual Overlord would would have been had it happened. I might have just enough. Nope. Nope. Complete all failure. However, I will at least, um, I'll make way for the British to be able to do this. I hope so. Maybe. Come to think of it, I'm not 100% sure. Combat's glitched. Fuck, I'll destroy your APCs then. Ha ah. But uh, I believe I've actually uh, created enough path for the British to be able to come in and do it. Even though it's Japanese turns next, but eh. Okay. Thank God I'm able to do this. Otherwise, that would kind of suck. Let's go ahead and end that, and I can unload all of my men here into here in Japan. And, uh, boom! The UK ended up taking Japan, something that's never happened before in my games. But, um, yeah, that is the end of this campaign. Thank God. This can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. But, um, with that being the case, here are the final scores, and just Germany plummeted in Japan. It was alive. So, um, yeah, I did get some techs. Uh, I got rockets, which will allow you to essentially uh, do a bombing attack on anyone. And for the Americans, I got some long-range aircraft and heavy bombers. So, yeah, it was pretty nice. So, that's the end of this campaign. And in the next episode of the series, I will be playing as the Axis. So, I will meet you guys then.